This is my 1999 Honda Accord SIRT CF4. I bought her when I was 21 years old. Ever since I saw one of these on the road, I fell in love immediately. There are many different variations of the 6th generation Accord, but this one was produced only in the land of cherry blossoms. Here is the first day I brought her home in front of my first car, the Black Pearl. During my time in university she was a fantastic daily driver and I had many great memories with her. She came with a lot of added features. And over time I have added more things to make her more reliable and fun to drive. But being an engineering student and having a ton of university work meant that I had to postpone a lot of the things I have planned for her. And the time unfortunately has taken its toll. But this is about to change. Here she is now. Ever since I started my full-time job and I got the Misty Lady as my daily driver, I have put my beloved in a sort of hibernation, locked away from the world in my parents' garage. But the time has come to bring her back to life and her former glory, to rebuild and improve her so she could shine bright once again. Allow me to introduce you to Project Morningstar. Let me give you a small tour. The inside of the Morning Star has kept up pretty well. Except for the door handle on the driver's side door, which recently broke off, and the side of the driver's seat is a little bit torn. But other than that, the half leather, half fabric interior looks really good. Here we have the VTEC control system, which you might remember from one of my previous videos. And a few years ago I replaced the worn real shelf speakers with these JVC speakers and made some custom wooden frames for them. Original carpets were worn out so I replaced them with some new universal ones from a DIY store. I must admit cleaning them is a pain in the ass. But now let's move to the trunk. So the previous owner installed a massive twin speaker subwoofer in the back but I sold it as it was more of a burden than any fun. And it took half of the trunk space. It used to be so heavy that the back of the car used to sit very low. Kind of like the lowrider style, but not in a good way. I still have the spare wheel cover, but I spilled some battery acid on it by accident, and the smell never went away, so we gotta make a custom one. The sun has taken its toll on some parts of the car, like the roof, quarter panels, and the hood. Here is my Bosch repair job that I attempted to do on the back quarter panel. The wheels? Not going to lie, have much to be desired. The previous owner painted them with some flat black paint and after some time it just started to peel off. The front bumper is just absolute mess. And I began the repair process for the bumper but never finished it and for the lip as well. The side skids are from another accord as I had a little incident with a floor jack. Brake pads and rotors will need to be replaced and the suspension components will need addressing too. Lights are looking horrible and the mountings for the grill of the bumper, which their positioning is a stupid design in my opinion, have broken off. So we're going to need to figure out something for that. Aftermarket horns, which are a Chinese knockoff of Hella horns, which have begun to rust. And of course the main thing of the morning starts her powerful heart. The blue top, well not anymore, F20B original JDM engine apparently producing 250 horsepower to the wheels. Is it true? I don't know, the previous owner said that it's the dyno rating, but I highly doubt it with 245,000 kilometers on the clock. Yes, I did put a cold air intake and I love the sound of it, sue me. And replaced all the hoses for silicone ones, which some of them might need to be replaced. The engine has a major oil leak from the engine cover as the studs holding it have stripped threads. Tried to fix it many times before, but most probably will need to replace them with the OEM Honda parts. Ever since I replaced the timing belt and water pump, the balancer bearing has developed a noise, so that will need to be addressed. 
and the valves will need to be adjusted so they have never been to my knowledge. But other than that, the engine runs great. Gearboxes might need synchros to be changed, especially the second and fifth gear. Might as well replace the clutch too. Now let's get under the car. Original dual Honda exhaust and the mid resonator delete makes this car sound amazing. The pipe is bent in a certain place and the flakes joint will need to be replaced too. Also the catalytic converter is not doing its job really. According to my MOT guy it's like it's from a 1.0 Yaris. So there it is ladies and gents. My project car Morningstar. <sighs> Hey there! How you doing? So I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you're as excited as I am for the project. Already some work has begun on her, I don't know if the camera can pick it out, but definitely stay tuned for the upcoming videos on the channel. I know it's been a while since the last time I uploaded to the channel, but do not worry. There's a lot of videos coming out about Misty Lady, Morningstar and others, so stay tuned. Now your next question might be, when is the next episode coming out? Unfortunately, I'm not very sure myself. Two weeks, maybe a little less, as long as everything goes as planned. But I will keep you updated on my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter page, where you can find the links in the description below. So now a little bit about the future of the channel. I want to make my videos a little bit more personal. So pretty much more talking face to face or in this case, face to the camera. So basically more real time footage and some bits of time lapse here and there. So documenting everything that is pretty much happening with my cars and any things that break or I break myself whilst working on them so you don't have to repeat the mistakes. Kind of like a vlog type but more educational in that sense. With a little bit of fun in there too of course. So in short this channel is going to be my journey through various cars, Honda and other makes and models. So tag along on the ride and I hope you learned something along the way. And lastly, I'd like to thank you so much for all the support I have for all the platforms, Facebook and YouTube. Really makes a great deal for me and I really thank you for this. I don't know what else to add. I think that's it. <laughs> oh, so anyway guys, Phoebe and I would like to wish you a happy new year 2022. Let's hope, let's hope it's better than the last two. And anyway, take care and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! <laughs> okay, you want to leave.